for sure. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, so, so he was saying when, 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 when he met you, like, um, from what, what he was saying, it sounds like, 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 like you already had like your, your, your foot in the game already. Like, um, cause like he was saying, like, uh, you, you, you were getting a bunch of guys together, um, that, that, uh, that you, you, you were, you, you knew, and uh, you were getting them all together to make music. Um, what, 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 what was going on yeah. with Harvey Dentist before Pangea? Well, Harvey Dennis before Pangea, it was, uh, I, I still to this day and, uh, Another brother of mine, Cashew Butter, who was also like a part of our adventures over in Europe as well. Eventually, like uh, he was uh, a buddy of mine, went to high school with, uh, and then we we weren't really connected in high school. But then we ended up working at a restaurant in Hamilton, where I'm originally from, um, and then eventually hit it off. He's a musician, I'm a rapper, whatever. We were just like, let's do this, and then that like relationship really grew, and then I moved back. All right, sorry, I moved to Toronto initially, like first time from Hamilton. And then uh 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 moment. Uh I you were saying like um yeah, yeah like uh, you, you guys knew in, in, uh, knew each other in high school and then uh you, you, but you didn't like know we know each other, but then after high school. Um somebody that I'm gonna show mm-hmm. um next week, Richie Dolo. Um me and him have been friends for almost twenty years now. But uh uh same thing. Uh, uh, same thing. I, I I I see him around high school, but I didn't hang out. And, and afterwards, but like me, he's he's like my brother now. Yeah, yeah. But, it wasn't like any animosity or anything, yeah. or like it was just like you have your group of friends. There's a group of friends there, and you're like, hey, you see him at a party or whatever, or whatever. But then when you start working with him, and he's like, he's a fucking crazy talented dude. Like, I, I hands down, a lot of people, anyone that has met him has been like, there's only one of this version of person. He's crazy to play any instrument, but it was a great producer. But anyway, so yeah. that kind of created a, a producer MC kind of relationship that was regular. And like, I, I, I had rapped since I was 13, but like, you know, with different names, you know, you're, you're corny. You're, you're like, well, Impala's popping a collar. You know, you're like, I'm the <laughs> shit. Like I can write this, thing. you know, like, but yeah, but when one thing started getting serious, which is like a couple years, maybe a year or two, maybe 2012, I got my first big show in Toronto, which was opening up for Ill Bill and Vinnie Pass when they did uh, uh, what's their what's their duo group? Uh, Heavy Metal Kings, Heavy Metal Kings. So that was through a mutual friend, new uh, uh, promoter, uh, Matt Almeida. Shout out to Matt Almeida. He, uh, we've gone on to make a lot of cool stuff. I did a movie with him uh, through illustrating stuff and whatever. So we did that. And then more and more shows with bigger acts kind of perpetually happened. And then as uh, Hot Rocks was saying, like we met, <laughs> I remember we met and like that weekend, I was playing a show with R.A. the Rugged Man in Hamilton. Yeah. At, uh, and then the day before, Gene was playing a show in Toronto. So I was playing like two R.A. the Rugged Man shows in a weekend no. and then that's where we met yeah we met on stage like ripping the microphone i remember it was like mad camaraderie <laughs> it was just like give me that shit <laughs> but the first time i met him in hamilton he was doing battling he was battling uh at uh king the dot and then okay. me and my live band I had a i had cashew butter and i eventually formed a huge like a, a live band and we performed with that for a few years but i had mistook him for someone else like i had met another group of people and like we got this mad weird mixtape that we were we put in like driving back to toronto from hamilton you know the the same night and like i for 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 a time i thought that he had like uh was this person so it was like this this like weird it just kept going i won't get into (laughs) details it was just like I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, where's this going? And then eventually he came over when we were chilling, like at uh, my crib in Toronto and recording with uh, Gene One and Cashew and uh, THP at the time. And then uh, eventually I was just like, are you? It's just like, <laughs> like I would like on the sneak, like try to bring up this like random album. And he was just like, no, like, no, of course not. I'm not this like terrible artist. And I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. And we were friends ever since, man. It was it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny right there. 
the other crazy thing too about it's, it's just all this crazy shit the other crazy thing about like hot rocks as well is like he left to amsterdam again and then this opportunity came back to move and then he was just like oh like i'm living with a couple and they're moving back to england and now i live in a, an apartment where it needs a couple i like at the same time so it was just like all these things just like kept happening and then like led to these crazy experiences and great hip hop moments and shows and shit. It was dope. 